Using the zero probe, we can measure wall thickness or check for laminations. On the USK7, we can move, change the range of the UT set by clicking on the range bar here. The range squashes up the display to represent greater distance or opens it out to show less distance. The X shift will move the whole display to the left or to the right. The amplitude will increase the, the amplitude of the response. Suppression reduces smaller echoes and is generally not used for weld inspection. Now, to calibrate for zero, we can click on the V1 block here. The V1 block is 25 millimeters thick. So the sound is going through the block, which is 25 millimeters, and echoing inside there. So we get multiple echoes on the A scan here of the back wall of this 25 millimeter V1 block. Here we can see multiple echoes, each one representing 25 millimeters, 25, 50, 75, 100. So I'll calibrate for with two echoes, which will give me 25, 50 millimeters altogether. I'll put the first echo in the center of the screen and the second echo at the end of the screen. So that is now calibrated for a total distance of 50 millimeters. Calibration is done by using the range and the X shift alternately until the echoes are in the desired position. So this is now echo 1 which represents 25 millimeters. The, e the echo again represents 50 millimeters altogether. So total screen reading, 50 millimeters. Going back to our world, we have an echo here, which is coming up at 20, the 20 millimeter position. Actually, the fact is not, it's coming up at uh, 15 millimeter position this is on a 15 millimeter thickness that's 25 there and that's 10 20 30 40 50 so this is 15 millimeters to increase the weld thickness we go on the menu this time I will set it for 20 millimeters wall thickness we can see the echo is coming up at 20 millimeter distance increase the amplitude 